Hey guys. Hey, just a minute. I gotta turn off my internet. If I don't turn off my internet, then it'll be like all choppy and crazy. So hopefully it gets a little better. Give everybody a moment to get on. The gist of this little talk is gonna be about anemia in general. And I can give you a little insight on how anemia has affected Brie and Brad. By no means is this to be used as medical treatment, or I'm telling you what you should or shouldn't do, but knowledge is power. Guys, knowledge is power when it comes to your kids and your families and health. So you need to own it live it, believe it, and be ready before it becomes an emergency. So let's chat a bit. If you have any questions, drop them below. And hey, Alex, make sure you, um, uh, where was that? What's it going to say? Drop them below. Oh, let me know when you're on so I know who I'm talking to. And if not, if you're watching the replay, Welcome. Still let me know you watched it. Let me know if it was helpful. Let me know what you guys want to see, what you want to know, what you want to do. I just have um, actually talked to three parents in the last 24 hours with medical questions. And it is what it is. We live it every day, guys. So let's help each other. All right. So first of all, and I make a couple little notes here so I don't forget something important, and it's absolutely nothing important. It's like an outline. When I say a few notes, um, like, yeah, like a few notes, like six things, just bullet points. So um, let's talk about anemia. Anemia is where you do not have enough hemoglobin in your bloodstream. Okay, so what does, it's the, our, not hemoglobin, but red blood cells. Red blood cells in your blood. And along with that is a measurement of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is what carries the oxygen to your body. So when you're anemic, that means you don't have enough oxygen carrying capacity going through. There's not enough oxygen or there's not enough of the carrying capacity. Get blood to your organs and that's why you become symptomatic. So we've got to in make sure that our red blood cells and or our hemoglobin and hematocrit on a plain CBC are normal. And I wanted to say, oh my gosh, I have a crazy dog here whining at me. Let me see what she wants. She wants food, I'm sure. Do you need some food? Sorry, hold on. This is real life. This is our life, so 